Some might say that I was born into the creative life. I was abandoned at 13 months of age in front of a theater, the Oscar Theater in Seoul, South Korea. When my family adopted me and brought me to Canada, they enrolled me in creative movement classes. This was my first introduction to the world of dance. People will often ask me, Jenny, why do you love to dance so much? What is it about it? To this I will reply, well, why does the rain fall? The answer is, it's simply in its nature to do so. And so it is with me and my passion for dance. It's a fire that lives in my heart that I dare not deny. So now you might be saying, okay, Jenny, that's nice and all, but I wasn't born with dance in my heart. So what's in it for me? Why should I care about dance? Well, when you think about it, dance really is one of the few universal languages that we all share. In any country across the world, when there's a celebration, what do people do? They eat, they drink, and they dance. When I was 15, I traveled with my dance company to Beijing, China. We were representing the youth platform on behalf of the Canadian government at the United Nations Conference on Women. The Chinese officials were very nervous with this many women there, and they forbade the delegates from dining together because they thought we might start a revolution or something. Um, however, we still managed to make friends. This is Joke. She was a young girl from Nigeria who was there advocating on behalf of her village for clean drinking water. We didn't speak the same language, but we managed to make friends by doing silly dances from our home country. On the last night of the conference, we performed outdoors for thousands of women. During the show, it began to rain. There was an absolute downpour, and our dresses got soaked. However, we didn't stop dancing, because the show must go on. The women in the audience were so moved by this that they rushed the stage when we were done and held out their hands to touch us and thank us for the dance. It was just such a beautiful moment. It was then that I realized the power of dance, to bring people from different countries together and to touch their hearts. Dance bridged the gap that our words could not, and as a young artist, this was such a precious lesson to learn. This was a precious thing. Last winter, the Parkinson Society of BC hired me to choreograph a dance commercial with one small catch. They said, Jenny, all of the performers are going to be Parkinson's patients. Parkinson's is a disease which attacks the central nervous system and causes uncontrollable movements and tremors in the body. Now what they found is that someone in the early to intermediate stages of the disease will shake uncontrollably, but if you put them on a bike or if you put them in a dance class, inexplicably the movements begin to subside as their mind's eye turns toward the task at hand. This was amazing for me to see firsthand. The performers arrived to set with their walkers and their canes, and we moved together. We breathed together, we danced together, and in the end, we produced a commercial that said to other Parkinson's patients out there, you can do it, get up, move your body, and improve your life. Many Parkinson's patients initially feel ashamed or embarrassed when the tremors begin to take hold because they can't hold themselves still. Yet here we were saying to them, don't grieve the loss of your stillness. Embrace it. Move your body and improve your life. This was a precious thing. So many of us go about our day and we're not truly in our bodies. We go to work, we sit at a desk for eight hours, and we spend more time in our awareness up in our heads than in our physical bodies. Dance creates mindfulness and demands that we show up. This is important in a world where many people, women in particular, find it difficult to move their body through a space. Can you walk through that crowded room wearing that dress and those heels and feel completely at ease with your body? This sounds simple, but it is challenging. Dance can help with this. This is supermodel Jenna Talakova. You may know her as the transgendered Miss Universe contestant who went head-to-head -head with Donald Trump in the media. Because of her birth gender, which was male, she was initially forbidden from entering the competition. However, after a lengthy legal battle and a battle in the tabloids, she was permitted to enter and went on to win as a top 10 finalist. Now, when I met Jenna, she was a student in my sexy street jazz class. She soon became a regular and asked me to take her on for private training. We became fast friends, and when she got her own reality show, she asked me to work on the pilot with her as her dance trainer. 
The most remarkable thing that I've noticed about Jenna throughout the years is how dance has helped her feel at home in her new body. She was born a male, but she identifies as female. She is a woman. In many ways, she has danced her way into her new feminine identity. This is a precious thing. So now you might be saying, okay, Jenny, that's great and all, but I have two left feet. <laughs> I can't dance. Well, to this I'll ask, um, do you have a heart? Well, yes, of course you have a heart. Everybody has a heart. Well, if you have a heart, then you must have a heartbeat. This is my motto. If you have a heartbeat, I can teach you to dance. I live by it and I truly believe it. In my career, I have seen people overcome insurmountable odds in order to dance. Everything from sprains to strains to broken bones to depression to mental illness to cancer to autism to Down syndrome. Despite all of this, people are still compelled to dance. Why? Well, I would posit that it's because dance is something that lives in everybody's hearts. So the next time you hear a piece of music, I want you to find the steady beat in the song, okay? We don't have any music right now, but just try it. And then I want you to put your hand over your heart. Find your heartbeat. Have you got it? Okay. So what I want to leave you with is this. The rhythm of the music is the heartbeat. The beating of your heart is the rhythm. And if you put them together, you'll find that each and every one of us has the capacity for dance in our hearts. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a precious thing. Thank you.